More than 100 people die from opioid-related overdoses every single day here in the U.S. But one medical researcher suggests it can all be avoided if we just learn how to tap into our inner pharmacies. So Dr. Yu is about the science of mind-body self-healing. Modern medicine is really wonderful, but one negative side effect of modern medicine is that we become too reliant on it. Instead of reaching for the pill as the first option, you can do a lot of things by yourself. Your body heals by itself no matter what you do. And you can do some things to enhance that self-healing ability. This can have a similar benefit to drugs for many common ailments, especially pain, depression, and anxiety. I think we live in a culture of too much medicine. We're all in this together. Please welcome the director of the Oxford University Empathy Program, also the author of Dr. You, medical researcher Jeremy Howick. Welcome, Jeremy. So how are things at Oxford? Wonderful. I can imagine. That's probably a really cool academic environment. Mm -hmm. Academia and Harry Potter, yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk a little bit about how you have really come to believe so wholeheartedly in the concept of self-healing. Yeah, well, I haven't taken a prescription drug for five or ten years. I can't even remember, to be honest. And, you know, modern medicine is wonderful, but just like one or two glasses of red wine are good and make you feel good, but 10 or 20 is bad. Right. I mean, um, modern medicine has been overused. So many people take so many drugs for things they don't really need drugs for. Half the elderly Americans take over five prescription drugs a day. Uh, many take 20. Their lives a nonstop ritual of pill popping and managing side effects. This can be, this is harmful. And I'm not saying if someone is uh, suicidal, they shouldn't take drugs on the contrary. If you're suicidal or, you know, people have stage four cancer, they need the best drugs. But thankfully, most problems aren't that serious. And, and, my, and really quickly, I can verify that one of the hardest parts of working in the emergency department is that it is not uncommon for people to come in on 15 to 20 different medications, not sure why they're on which ones or what the doses are. So I, I just want to reaffirm that that is a reality where the list of drug medications gets longer and longer and longer. I mean, even I was diagnosed with adult ADHD, but I've written almost 100 publications. I've got books, a PhD. So it can't be, it can't be right. Boys who can't sit still in school are diagnosed with uh, ADHD given methamphetamines. The street name for that is Speed. It's strong stuff. I mean, I was offered knee surgery. I injured my knee in college. Uh, I dropped 365 pounds in it. There's bone damage, meniscal damage. I got a scan a few years ago. They said, because uh, I couldn't, I couldn't get the point, I couldn't even bend my knee. They said, take surgery. I said, well, I can't do surgery. I do research on placebo effects. Um, I said, what else can I do, doc? He said, well, try physiotherapy. I tried that with some positive thinking techniques. Knee got better slowly. Eventually, I ran my first marathon last year.